My name is Xavier, and welcome to a sneaky McSneakerson mission. At this time, we're trying to save Ian something, Anderson. Dagger! His call sign is Dagger. All right, let me look at his stats real quick. Because this will make me... Well, he has no stats yet. Okay, let's do this. A slow-mo 1.5. I don't know if I did fog density yet. Fog density zero. Okay. Now then, let's grab... Varnect, and away we go. I think the smartest thing here is to hover out back here towards this wall. So let's bring Varnect out here to see if it's safe. It looks like it is so far. I want to see around this car to this direction. And I think the best way to do that safely... God, this is kind of dicey all around. I guess just come down here. I don't want anything to be behind that car that I can't see. This looks good. All right. Well, in that case, Ian, off you go. Here's snakes over here to the left. I think I might have just lucked out already just based on the fact that I hear those snakes. We'll see. Now, let's bring Varnicked up scout-like forward positions. We see nothing. God, this would be so, so, so easy. Do we have a grapple? Yes. Varnicked could just grapple up and boom, he's out. All right. In this case, so let's move sort of conservatively. We see nothing. All right. Well, up we go with Ian. Is this going to be a two-minute mission? If I remember correctly, you can't get on this uh, roof here. Oh, hello! It doesn't matter what these things are, you just have to sneak out regardless. This wall does not have line of sight, but we're gonna have to come up here through the window where we do have line of sight, so... I wonder if this is a case of I might actually cause a distraction. Or... Maybe I'll just do an Oster Oscar Mike. From this car. Because from this- whoa, oh, what the heck? Java update available. Good lord. Alright. I think actually from right here, I can hack this. So let's do this. Varna, come up to this car. Confirm that we can indeed see nothing. From here, let's come out to the other corner of the car, though. I'm on the move. And now I think what I want to do, if Ian can make it, which it looks like he can't. Oh, I wanted to come right up to the car. I'm really worried that they're going to come out now and see him if I run him up into the open. So why don't I do this in two stages. Stage one, I'm going to come back here to this corner. And the reason is they were moving this way, so they might come out here maybe. More likely than if they were to come back, I think. Alright, we see nothing. Now, let's see. How far can Varnick run? He can- Varnick can actually, from this tile, make it out of the- the- uh, the map. Like, that's crazy. Okay, so what we need to do now is get Ian up here into a position where he won't be spotted, and I think that's actually going to be right here, indeed. So, voomp! That car should block line of sight. And then we're going to do the ultimate combo. A next turn. For now, we sit here. Oh, I hear it like a mech over here now to the right. What's the command range? Wow, Varnex command range is huge. Okay, well with that in mind, let's do the following things. Uh, let's first pop Ghostwalker. A boom. Going dark. Uh, let's get up here, climb this thing, see what that guy is. He's way down there, and these guys are way over here. Okay, that's good to know. And next turn we win, as simple as that. I think, unless, well, how far can we get here with Ian? Why can't he? Oh, he can get almost the whole way himself. Okay! Oh, very good. Now then, let's check the command range. Yep, he's in it, so let's shut this down. Uh, let's a pop Oscar Mike. Boom! That extends... What's his name? Ian's range. Not quite all the way, but all the way enough. Up he goes, he's gonna activate all kinds of stuff, but what do we care? Okay, slow-mo again. Wow, 20 HP, huh? Those captains sure are the HPing. <laughs> wow, that mech. He's getting aggressive, but it's not gonna help him. Everybody runs. Whenever they're done animating, we win. Just like that. Because what Varnak's gonna do now is command Ian to move. Wow. Command... This is... Command Oscar Mike combo is pretty crazy. Oh, we see some more stuff. 
Slow-mo again. I think I spent more clicks entering slow-mo on fog density than I did winning this mission. Foom. <laughs> he ran from here all the way to there in one turn. Oh. That thing's on Overwatch. As long as this thing doesn't jump up here and spot us, we're fine. Because, yep, Ghostwalker is still up and we out. Well, guys, it's a done. And also... It's a flawless victory. Ice Saga, not even remotely. More like I had to click six times, Saga. Ooh, I like this frozen tundra land. It looks really nice. I can't imagine the aliens. Varnak, no promotion, that's fine. Ian Theater with a nice hat. Let's go check out his stats really quick. The only thing I don't like about these missions is that they don't make good episodes. They're just so short and they're so repetitive, but they're fun to play. I mean, that was kind of a fun five minutes of my life, I think. I enjoyed it. But um, at this point, Ian Anderson is a shinobi with 70 will, a 50 movement, uh, or 15 movement rather, which is average, average HP. He's got really, really high hacking for some reason. And 14 dodge, that's incredible. He's really, really good in terms of aim and will. I think I might actually make him into a, uh, what are they called? SMG Shinobi. And the concept with this is that I would go, yep, carry on. We'd go Hunter's Instinct for flanking damage and then we'd eventually combo that with Serial, so he can move like a mile, a flank, kill someone, and keep moving, and just keep killing someone's. That sounds really, really, really good. So with this in mind, do I need any more sneaky shinobis? Not really, I have three. So why don't we instead go low profile to help keep him alive? A boom. Oh wait, he had more perks. Forgot all about that. Obviously Lone Wolf, because we want the aim, because he's going to be out doing stuff. Boom, and Hunter's Instinct. Holy bananas. Ian's actually going to be incredibly good immediately. I'm, I'm mostly doing this just to like, I mean, I think the, the stealth shinobis are by far the most valuable ones with Ghostwalker, Covert, Conceal, Tradecraft. However, I just want to do some different stuff. Just for the hell of it. So it's a done. Anyone else to promote? I still haven't promoted Steel Norn. I probably should because I think he's a liaison. He should probably have abilities. Anyway, squad sight, his aim is 77 for a sergeant, that's somewhat milling, so let's do the same old spec I always do, which will be a rapid targeting, high def hollow, and a dead shot. And then I don't even know who this Mosi guy is, we need to import a character over him. But uh, may as well give him some stuff, because he also is a Haven advisor. Hey, his aim's not very good. Why don't we do a Stabby Stabby, because he's got 15 mobility. I mean, if he's going to be an advisor, he could actually, like, stab some Faceless and stuff. I think, can you stab Faceless? I think they melee from two. I don't really know. I don't know. Let's just try it for once and see what happens. And then I'm going to go probably Hail of Bullets. And uh, maybe a bit of the old Iron Curtain, I think, if he's going to be an advisor. Also, I wanted to respec uh, Faleg. And the reason I wanted to respec Faleg, let me go find Faleg. Where is he? Actually, I can't respec him because he's wounded. But what I want to do here, since Faleg has such amazing aim, is actually drop killer instinct. Because he doesn't have any crit perks, he didn't go close and personal or aggression. And once that's gone, we can pick up Stun Gunner, giving him plus 30% to hit eventually. And we can combine that with his AWC choices he got in here, aim, so if he hunkers down he gets plus 20 aim the next shot, and if he doesn't move, he gets 10 aim, 10 crit. That's 30 aim plus 30 from Stun Gunner. And then eventually he could get Chain Lightning and literally stun everything, everywhere, all the time. It would be amazing. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait a few days for that. But what I don't have to wait a few days for though is to respec, respec Buon into Combat Fitness, which I edited in here, to see how this works. Because it feels to me thematically that, well, first of all, that perk was not very useful there. And I think Combat Fitness might fit the role, so I'm going to try it out and see if it does. But also, Buon, every mission he's gone on, he's taken multiple shots and multiple wounds. So I think thematically I want to make him into a tanky grenadier. Uh, which isn't really a thing unless this perk becomes a real, uh, real option. But in the meantime, let's toss him in to the respect tube.
Respect tube one. Boom. I don't even know how many days he's gonna be out for. It looks like 20 days. That's a freaking long time. We get a grenade and an ammo POI over here. That's not so bad. But I'd really rather finish this and then we'll go do another mission really quick with Ys Ghidorah. In nine hours. Or will we? Looks like we got a recover item. 28 intel, 4 days, 13 hours. I could easily, easily do this, but do I want to? Well, it's gonna be Liberation 1, so yes I do. I definitely want to do this. 4 days, 13 hours, let's gear it up. And here's the squad, uh, Varnex Valiant Vanguard, uh, led up by Varnex and also TD. Yep, they're going in with suppressors, 2 days, 23 hours total between the two of them, which is fairly insane. Uh, and this should be pretty easy. It is on a train though, so it's not necessarily super easy. But it, we'll see. I mean, it should be fairly easy. Off you go. Okay, and now we just scan for a couple seconds. Boom, this mission's done. It's going to be... Who even is this? Is this... Ease Gatora? Going to extract a VIP. We just did that, but now we're going to do it again for a scientist and another intel package. Uh, let's uh, fly in. Alright, let's do a slow-mo 1.5. This one looks a lot more tricky. A lot more tricky. It sounded to me like there's something down here and something down here. And we're up on the roof with Lian Pang, the scientist. Also... Wow, I guess, I guess because I think I heard something over here. I could be wrong about that. We should probably move up this way. And then in terms of this thing over here, if we can go all the way around, there's a ladder right here. I don't know what kind of building this is, though. Usually these short ladders only go to one story. So yeah, I think the smartest thing we can do first, let's, let's check to see if there is actually something over here. Or if I was just going completely daft. And it looks like I may have been completely daft. Uh, Alright, let's keep going up here with these Ghidorah. We see nothing, and then let's go hide Lian over here, avoiding those windows, because you can see right through the windows of these roofs over here. Alright. Very sneaky. I don't really need a scientist, but I sh certainly wouldn't mind the intel and another intel package. So far, so good. I mean, I'm not really doing any tactical or strategic overviews at the beginning of these missions because they're kind of self-explanatory. Alright, we heard something over there. We need to know now how far wide or how wide of a berth we need to make. So let's drop down here with these Ghidorah. I, I checked the tile right beforehand. I wish you could see over, like, just look straight down and see whether or not there's civilians there so you don't have to, like, scan to make sure there are none, but... Regardless, that's how it works, so... Uh, let's do this. We'll just move up here with these good to- Oh, hello! That's very good to know. Looks like they're walking away, though. Let's make sure now every tile we move is not in line of sight. So yes, yes, yes. I think we come this way, this way. Yep, so far so good. And we'll come all the way out there. Boom. Hopefully they don't come towards me. Nope, they're leaving. Anyway, yeah, strategically, what I really need more than anything right now is intel. Okay. And so I definitely want the intel to expand to get to the black site, because I'm a little bit worried about the avatar progress. I still have seven bars right now, but they really, really, really start adding up around this time in a campaign. Alright, we see nothing. Um, I'm a little worried these guys are going to come back, so let's t kind of take the widest possible berth here. Anyway, plus it takes a long time to infiltrate the black site as well. Affirmative. Moving out. So I'd rather not be caught uh, losing the timer. The avatar timer. These guys are going to start yelling, but I don't think that matters so much. Wait. They actually- what the heck? They didn't start yelling? That's... how is that? If you dash past them, do they not yell? I don't even understand how that's possible. 
I mean, the, I had that, who was that sniper? Alondra, I think it was? Like, she walked up within four tiles of one and it ran away yelling. Do you have to end your turn within four tiles of them? Not turn, per se, but action point. Anyway, it looks like we can pretty easily do this next turn. Let's just move back to this double corner cover here with these Ghatora. Look both directions, we see nothing. Okay, this is almost a guaranteed victory. Let's just come up next to Ys Ghatora, making sure we don't go anywhere where we might be seeing something that he doesn't see. Oh, that's actually too short. All right, well, I guess we'll have to do it like this then, and we'll come right in there, right next to him. And we do have Oscar Mike, right? Yes. Do we have command? Yes. Well, you know where this is going. Oh my god, they're not even, like, here. How far can this guy get now? He can get just short of the evac, but you know what? If we just do nothing but click Oscar Mike, a boom. A Lian Pang, welcome to the team. You're in. Uh, and would you look at that? I didn't even activate anything, so I don't have to watch um, stuff happen. That's amazing. Good lord. Okay, and we out. Never even got spotted. Holy bananas. Very good extractions. Flawless victory. That doesn't feel like a hollow Lone Star. Yep, Iskatora is a Lone Star. Of work, Commander. No promotion, yeah, as expected. 18 missions Izgatora has pulled off. Good lord. Good lord, look at that scenic view. That's a very nice. Ooh, and that was a facility lead mission. That was a protect data. Or no, protect uh, research, not protect data. Protect data is what gives you the POI. But protect research gives you a facility lead, and that is just fantastic. That I was literally just talking about how... Uh, we needed to focus on the avatar a little bit now, and voila, we have the ability to do that. Now, I think the facilities are in New Mexico and Eastern U.S. It almost... Oh, hey, speaking of, I remember Commander seeing this in the last episode. No oh, Bradford. Coming in. We'll need to seek out new Please, shut up. Alright, I clicked uh, basic research by mistake. I actually wanted to do basic engineering, which is seven days. Uh, let's just finish the coil guns. At least I get the one, whatever core, I think it's like a assault or maybe it's a sniper rifle, I can't remember. I'll get one free heavy coil gun, then I'll either have to get another engineer somehow, or do the, uh, the, the research. So we have one POI down here for two days, they last about a week or so, let's finish this up. Looks like Killjoy's ranked up yet again. You have another mission. Looks like recover item from Advent Vault, three days, two hours. This looks like... Liberation 1. Fascinating. I can probably send Iskator. <laughs> Holy small squad missions, Batman. The funny thing is, like, I just felt like I went through hell and back over here in Africa doing all those ridiculously heavy missions constantly. Uh, it was just in endless, like the in infiltration, or not the, the invasion, the two liberations, uh, tons of like supply raids and troop columns and strength seven regions. And now we're finally somewhere else, and it's like the beginning of the game all over again, except I have like almost master sergeants with tons of perks. And I can just do all these missions super easy. Probably too easy, but let's go get this up with Ys Ghidorah. And here's the squad, Izgatora's Yodeling Yakuza, joined by Glenn, who's now being assigned permanently to Izgatora's squad. We have a nice buddy system here to uh, contrast Varnak and TD. We'll see who ends up getting more missions accomplished. Izgatora is up to seven already, though, but who knows what missions those even were. There was one thing I wanted to do, and it was build a gremlin for the extra hacking chance. Where is the gremlin? Gremlin Mark II. Boom. Let's build one of those and let's give that to Glenn. Fantastic. Now, Glenn has an advanced suppressor already. Oh, does Izgatora have one? He does. Advanced suppressor. Why does he have a stock? Like, what the heck am I going to do with that? Let's get that off. Advanced hair trigger? Let's get that off too. I'm going to, like, rebuild some items pretty soon. So I want these in the pool so I don't have to go find them later. 
Anyway, there we go. They're both ready. Two days, 20 hours. This is only going to be 100% infiltration, and it's Liberation 1, which means this is going to be a four-turn evac. Now, this is the kind of squall, small squad mission I feel like I'm going to enjoy. So this is going to be a lot more challenging than the last one, or the last two, rather. Uh, it's also higher baseline enemy activity of light rather than very light, so this will be fun. Anyway, off you go, boys. We finished suppressors. Let's go assign a new project. I'm going to do hazmat vests right now because I don't feel like messing around with all this garbage. So let's do that. It's only 20 supplies. And we still don't finish. Wow, is it hard to finish this stuff? Neutralize target in advent vehicle. And we will get... We'll prevent hunter's instinct. Uh, yeah. That's insanely good. Hunter's in can you imagine the, sh the Shadow Snakes with Hunter's Instinct on top of Hit and Run, on top of Shadow Step? Like, good lord. We definitely want to do this. I definitely want those 86 supplies. I definitely want the 30 intel. Uh, let's gear it up. I don't think I even can, though, because do I have anyone available? Nope. <laughs> Wait, Wise and Resoct is all busy. Uh, how are the boys doing? We have Killjoy and Constantine. Macronova is... Well, Razor's almost done. You know what? Let's wait for Razor. I'm busy. Almost everyone's gone. Let's just wait for me, and then I'll queue it up. Order. We'll get even another mission. Neutralize target, get attention. 106 supplies, though. Huh. I don't think I want to get attention. I also don't have a squad to do this, but I would not mind 106 supplies. Anyway, please finish. Done. Razor. Hard target, untouchable. Wow. Razor could be the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate tank in a million ways. But for now, we need to queue this mission up. But first, let's just, boom, finish that nonsense. All right, we have a radio relay now in Western US. And let's gear this up. Nine days, nine hours. And here's the squad, Macronoa's malicious middle contents, uh, brought to you by also the brand new Ian and Razor and Dagar, who I pulled out of liaison duty temporarily because I really want him to go do some fun, fun things and get some promotions. But first, we need to get some more subcoilers. It looks like we need one, a two. Let's see if we can go buy them. I still can't, right? And no, I can't. But I can build another arc blade, so I guess I'll do that. I have the corpse for that, and let's give that to Ian. God, he is just decked out already. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, I'm not happy with the fact that Dagar and Razor both have laser weapons. Uh, Constantine is a laser weapon. Macronova still has a conventional SMG of all odd things, but really, I just don't have the ability to make better things right now. So this will have to do, I think it's- oh, no it won't. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Mr. Gay, I got a present for you. Oh yes, uh, yes I do. A boom, Vibroblade K. I almost want to respect Mr. K to give him combatives, combatives, um, but I won't. Also, I just realized now I have that defense thing. I might as well give it to Ian because he's going to be out. Oh, I actually have two of them. You know what? Mr. K doesn't have a thing. Why don't we give him an extra plus three defense too? Awesome, fantastic. Well, this will have to do. Very light. We can over infiltrate if we want to. This squad should be fine. Off you go. Okay, now then, I feel like you should take this opportunity to get down here and grab this con or POI, the grenade and the ammo before it disappears. I think they last a week, or is it two weeks? I can't remember. Maybe it's ten days, who knows. Someone's available. Oh, Hong Gildong is ready for recruitment. Also, someone in New Chile was just recruited. Maybe. What is this? Destroy alien relay. And we counter a dark event. Oh, good lord, the missions over here are out of control. We definitely want to do this because this is going to be avatar progress. That's six days and two hours, though. I don't... I literally... Who do I even have? Let's look at the soldier list here. We have, um... Uh, Killjoy. That's it. Killjoy and a few rookies. I should probably rename these rookies and start training them, huh? Well, Phileg's ready in two, Shelves is ready in one, Johnny Maple's ready in two, Matt's ready in one, and Paul is ready in two. You know what? I think if I wait just a little bit, I might be able to pull together a squad to finagle this. What was that mission, though? Look how many missions there are down here on the bottom. There's like 50 of them. Six days, 22 hours. We can small, small squad that, I believe. 
So let's finish up this relay, or this convoy, whatever. POI. Something just hit 100%, I think. Looks like Varnak. Yeah, that's fine. Let's keep finishing this up. Avatar progress. Matt and Shelbs are done. Keep going. Someone's available for recruitment. I didn't see who. Ooh, a jailbreak. Very light. Five days. Resistance personnel. Rookie. Resistance personnel. Resistance personnel. Good luck, you know, rookie. Resistance personnel. So three resistance personnel and three rookies. And that's five days. God, I want to queue someone up for that. But at the same time, there's so many things happening. There's so many things. What's up with Izgatora here? Wait, another... <laughs> Can't even finish looking around. Oh, an engineer! An extract for an engineer! Okay, oh, another one! <laughs> Eleven, okay, that one we can safely ignore. Now then. This is 19 hours. I almost want to do this now. Who was this? This was going to be a fairly difficult one. If this works, I might be able to send Varnak off to, gap to capture that uh, engineer. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. You know what? Why don't I... well... Yeah, let's just do it now. Like, why not have three small squad missions in one episode? Operation Starchild, let's roll. Very light, 12 enemies. Alright, and we're in. This is a train. This is gonna be... Oh, actually, that's a good train, though. It's not the one with the windows. I can tell you right now, we can hack this. There's only 12 enemies. What I want to do, what I hate about these trains is when you're, when you're near them, enemies can come up over them and spot you instantly. And if you're on either side, you can't see the other side. So my plan here is to get away from this train, away from this line of sight blocking platform elevation thing here. We'll go around up the outside, we'll come up here, and then hopefully we can just hack this from range like way back here. That's the plan. Also, this is for a Lib 1, so I might take a little bit more risk than I otherwise would, but not a whole lot. So let's start with moving Varnak out here. Eight. Oh, hello! Already we see stuff. This is kind of scary then. Let's keep going over here with Varnek. See if it's clear. It is. Okay, TD, I think I gave him the grapple, right? Does he have the grapple? Answer, yes he does. Wait, does TD have ghost? No, that's not ghost walk. I'm so not used to this preview movement mod. Alright, TD, come down here. Uh-oh. They're cutting me off from where I want to go. Okay, I can see all of them though, and they're not completely cutting me off, but if I come over here... Actually, you know what? This will be fine. Because these guys can move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they won't be able to spot unless they're... Even if they're stepping out from this tile, they won't be able to spot. But if I come here with TD... All right, first we need to, to, to scout, but I'm thinking that the line of sight will be completely blocked. Unless it's not, and then we're in for a world of hurt. But this is kind of a scenario where I definitely don't want to come back this way and go up near the train. Like, I think it's better to risk actually being spotted over here than to do that. Or, or a Varnacht. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I definitely know what we're doing. I'm gonna Oscar Mike right now. Boom. And I'm going to actually command TD right now. Boom. That gives him three actions with ridiculous mobility. This is how we get things done. We move up, we scout, we see kind of nothing, but I heard a mech out here, so let's keep going. This is so dangerous. Let's, uh, let's go one tile back, because I'm scared. Okay, we're in. There's still a mech up there to contend with. We don't know where it is. Anywhere we go could be very, very risky, but this double cover is probably good, but look, we only have line of sight, like, right here. So let's try to be sort of safe and come into, like, a place right here where these guys probably won't spot us. And hopefully nothing else will spot us either, and it's also double high cover. Okay, it looks good. Ooh. Hey, Andromedon, thanks for re revealing your position from, you know, walking. I did all of that nonsense. I was, like, thinking and carefully plotting, and they just left. Like, why did they even bother? Whatever. Varnak, catch up. Let's keep going. We know they're kind of out here, so we should be fine. Yep, there they are. The question now, though, is... Can I get past them? Are they coming back? Where are they going? 
For some reason, I suspect they're going this way. They're, they're, it looks like they're going that way for, for one. And for two, I could have sworn somehow when they smashed this stuff, it felt like they were going in that direction. I don't know how exactly I would know that, but that's what it felt like. This is very risky. If I come here and they come back here, we're spotted. If I come here and they come here, we're spotted. If I come here and they turn around, we're stuck. So what I think I'm going to do, actually, is move back over to this rock. Seven tiles vision. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. If we come here, we're safe. Okay. And there's actually four of them. I didn't know that. So the first thing we need to do then with TD is move down into the open. We need to see what's going on here. We see that there's not a whole lot going on here. If they're coming this way and they were right there, it stands to reason I should be safe here. If nothing else, I can intervene. It says a Liberation 1, it's worth the intel. Uh, and last but not least, a Varnect, if you wouldn't mind running up to this tree. And away they go! Oh, nope, actually... They're kind of moving exactly where I need to be to hack, which is very unfortunate. Let's bring TD. There should be nothing over here. This is the end of the map. So let's bring TD all the way down into the open. We see nothing. Let's keep going to the very corner of the map. And now Varnex time to shine, by which I mean run 4,000 miles. Vroom. And they stop and they turn around. Yes, they do. And now they go back and now we win, I hope. But before I get too overconfident, let me move up into the street. Get eyes on that pod, we see nothing. Get eyes down the street. I'm still not happy about this though. Because I can't see a whole lot that's going on here. And I feel the only safe way- you know what? Never mind, let's come over here with Varnect, we see nothing. I was gonna say I was gonna use Ghostwalker there, but... Don't feel like I really needed to. Alright, this is uh, this is 100% perfect. We can actually hide behind this this tree, and we can actually get line of sight. We can see right there. We can uh, hack the objective from this one tile, it looks like. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So the only question is, does Varnacht have command? He does. Let's play it this way then. Let's move up. Wait. Where's that one tile? It's right here. Let's move up right now, verify this works, see if we activate if there's like something right here. There's not, but we do see all these guys. And there's also a guy inside that we don't see right now. Where else could I go to hack this? Um, nowhere, really. So what this means... Since this is a four-turn evac, let's just double-check that with throwing the flare. Yep, four turns. Ah, it's a very, very tricky one, this. So I'm gonna have to intervene and blow some intel if I want to do this sorta safely. Unless I just want to stand here and roll my luck for next turn. But I really don't think I want to do that. So let's move back with TD. Moving. Now we'll use Varnect to command... Actually, do I have to? I don't, I don't have to do it just yet. Let's command TD now. Mostly because I don't want to use Varnect. Uh, to throw the flare to break concealment. We'll throw the flare out here where we know we had line of sight on the objective. Now TD is basically stuck here. Which is fine. He can just hang out here for a while now. Okay. Let's actually move Varnacht up. Okay, we see that pod. That's fine. We're gonna have to use intervention now. I'm just gonna use it right in the middle of the street. I think it's fine. That buys us a little bit more time. Now we just wait. I hope they don't spot me through that, that vehicle, because sometimes the line of sight is so finicky on these things. And then other times it works fine. Let's move over here with Varnex. 
We see nothing. Very good. Let's move over again, just in case. TD, Hunker, because who knows if they're going to see you. I doubt it. They shouldn't. Andromedon just walking around, blowing stuff up. Okay, so I'm going to have to intervene again. Unfortunately. But I think it's fine. And then we can even move over here with Varnacht. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong. And we just hunker. Okay. I spent 20 intel for this, but this was Lib 1, though. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. So, like, who really cares? Let's go. Is, where's the tile I can see it? It's uh, here and here. Up we go. TD, run into an Andromedon. Hacky hack and get out of here. Oh, finally. There's something I can use for the thumbnail for this episode. That's like my biggest concern when playing these, is that I won't find a single... Donut! A single action shot to use for the thumbnail. Anyway, a TD, a hacky hack, you went watch list and resistance broadcast. Huh. Well, two new haven, I mean two new rebels in this haven would be really, 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 really helpful. Reducing in, uh, contact costs, however, that's 24, 26 intel, and I just blew 20 intel. We do have a lot of intel, though, from all these small squad missions. This is a really tough decision. Ultimately, though, I feel like I have a lot of intel. I have data pads. I'm going to try the 43%, because if we can actually hit this, then liberate, uh, liberating this region will be so much easier. TD, 43%! Resistance ball! Nope. You barely would have got watch list, I think but you didn't get resistance broadcast. Oh well, I think that was the smart play. Uh, but who knows? Anywho, Varnet, come on up, and guys, uh, we out. Where's the um, the thingy that lets us get out of here? The, the evac all thingy. God, there's so many buttons on these guys. <laughs> also though, a third time's a charm, and... Flawless victory. Wow, that's a lot of flawlesses. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. TD, yield promotion. Like it's working out just fine. His aim is not so great. I don't think Saver's also useful. Well, let's just grab a Trojan. And we got a bunch of random loot for no reason. All right, now what the heck was I doing? There's so many things. I think I wanted to do that engineer extract, right? Extract, engineer, two days, 23 hours, very light. Yep. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. So for this one, we're going to be sending in a Varnacht all to buy his onesies. Off you go, friend. Sky Ranger deployed. And then I also wanted to gear up a small squad for this other one. Not the neutralized target. What was it? Was it this? Six days, one hour, destroy the relay. Yeah, that's what I definitely want to do. Where's our... I really wish there was like a thing on the bottom left here that showed you all like all this info. Like each one of the squad things, just boom, 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 boom on the left. Because it's really, really difficult to figure out what's going on. We have two hours until we have a recover item from Vault. Okay, we still need to wait a day for Farleg, Paul, and Johnny Maple. So in that case, let's swing down here and finish up this Avengers, POI scan. And then I think it's time for Izgator to go do a small squad mission as well. Something just hit a hundred, I don't know what it was. Ooh, advanced coil guns! What's the free prototype we get, though? I don't actually remember. More importantly, though, Maga Shorty. Scattergun, Gauss Cannon. So I might be okay with that engineer thing. So I don't have to necessarily research engineering research if we complete that. I do, right now, want to research the facility lead to figure out where it is. 
so we can contact the appropriate region right away. And it looks like, there we go! What's going on here? Uh, Izgatora and Glenn, we have another two-man mission. Very light, recover from a vault with four turns. You know what? Why not do a Quadra Sneaker? All right, I've already got slow-mo in or enabled here. We see the POI. This is uh, up to 12 enemies. I forget what this the reward for this even. Is this Lib 1 again? Is that why I'm doing this? I can't remember. So from there, this building has windows. We can go on the roof, throw the evac over here, hunker on the roof, uh, jump down when it's ready, and hack the hack. So we just need to get to that roof, and the best way to do that, it's probably going to be to go around, but this is a huge building here in the way. So it might make sense to go over it if we can manage that. Let's be a little bit risky. If we go all the way around, I feel like we might not have enough time. Because this is a four-turn evac. We want to ideally get up here and throw the thing three turns from now. And that that's very, very, very unlikely. We could use Conceal, though, if we want to, with Izgator and get it in that way. But for now, uh, let's move up. And kind of figure out if there's any immediate options. And we don't even have shadow uh, or a grapple armor here with Izgatora, so there's probably not. We're gonna have to be a little bit safe and come over here. I've got enemy movement okay, uh, there's four of the twelve. I don't know if I want to... I'm gonna go up to this corner here with Glenn. It's a little bit of a risk. I mean, they're... Oh, I saw stuff in there. The thing is, Glenn has the grapple armor, so if something walks up near him, he can just grapple up out of it. But if something spots him... He's pretty much, uh, dead. Do I want to go up here with these Gator? I don't. Let's use Ghost Walker now, because I'm very worried. There could be that pod through this window. We don't see them. Everything looks fine. I actually wish I did see them. It would make things much easier for me. If I want to do this next turn, I'm going to have to really get up there, but I think I saw that pod in there. You know what? Uh, let's not worry about it. I think I saw them down here. So even coming back here is a risk. Coming up here is a risk. Coming up here is a risk if these guys turn around. But I do have Ghost Walker. That's the only thing I can think. So let's come up here on the outside. These guys can only see two tiles. So... and they can walk seven. So they could... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? Let's just have Izgatora go absolute ridiculous, run into the middle of the street. Now, I'm really worried for Glenn's life here. So I think what I want to do is just run away from the windows, because I don't... Oh, there's those guys. I hate it when you move, you can see guys, when you really, really, really shouldn't be able to. But whatever, that's how it works. And then move back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll be fine here. Don't forget he has grapple, so... Hopefully I can just move out into the street and grapple up there and we're good. Yep, so far... The other guys were on their way away from us. Also, I see a tower. We could hack that at the same time. Potentially, if we uh, use a command appropriately. So let's bring Izgadora right out into the open here. He still has Ghost Walker. Looks good. While we have Ghost Walker up, I want to get up on this roof. And I also want to see over here to make sure it's clear for Glenn. We are just going right through the middle of the map on this one. Looks good. Let's check this tower first. Integrated Com Superior PCS. Integrated Com Superior PC. I don't even know what Integrated Comms is. But I think I'm fine with this. So we can sneak over here almost assuredly. And then next turn if we need to, we can grapple up or do any number of other things. Threaten the proverbial needle. Uh-oh, these guys are coming back. And right now is when we want to throw the evac flare to make sure that we can indeed get out of here next turn. This is a little risky, though, because to throw the evac flare with Glenn from here would mean he could get spotted. To throw it from here means he could get spotted. Ooh, wait, I know what I could do. Oscar Mike, again! Good lord, Oscar Mike! I can't believe how awesome Oscar Mike is being. If we come all the way back here, though, almost assuredly, and nothing will see us. So this is where we're gonna go. Technically, it probably would have been even sneakier if I was over here. 
uh, hiding out of a line of sight. But yep, this is good. We're gonna th make sure we have a line of sight now on the objective from this tile. We do. This tile, yes. This, All these tiles, we have line of sight to the objective. Well, no, actually, we don't have them on that one. But all these ones we do. So let's toss out the flare now. Ideally, I want it, like, right next to the thing, so I can just drop down in case there's overwatches, but whatever. That'll have to do. This is firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Uh, so we are a little spotted now, and I'm wondering if the smart move is to get away from this this cover, because technically we're stepping out to here, and then something could see us. So why don't I run, like, out into the open? And that's just where we're going to have to sit for the rest of the mission. Looks good. Stand in the open. Very safe. No one sees lots of smoke. Also, I know there's a pod over here. I keep hearing them. I should point it out because I don't think when you watch the video, you guys can hear that. But to me, I mean, it sounds like they're literally right over there. Even the distance is obvious. It's not always accurate, but it's obvious, if that makes sense. So, let's make sure... I want to check line of sight indicators here. We're good up until here. I don't want to move further back, because that risks activations... Everything, every play... Oh, nope, actually. Here is... Yep, had I been here... Where I was, I would have... They would have spotted me. But here, they don't. So, I'm fine with this. Can I get to the evac flare? Yes. Where Glenn is, is as good as it's going to get. I'm a little worried. So, but we're okay, because they're in green alert, so we'll just sit here. Very tense. Very- Oh, away they go. I'm not using any or many distractions this campaign like I used to. I did a lot of cool things with distractions in the last campaign. Where I'd, like, use the shinobi, throw a grenade. They'd go investigate it, and then I'd, uh, get the VIP out. But this one, you know, maybe it's just because I'm using it's Oscar Mike now. It's time to go. So here's how we're going to do this. So we're going to bring Glenn. We're going to single move down here into the evac. He's almost certainly going to activate, right? Right? All right? Uh, nope. Apparently not. We hack the chest. I saw resistance broadcast again. Uh, this haven is a little bit different. Because I don't particularly care about the haven rebels here. And there's only one rebel? Like, I don't plan on liberating this because it's close to the black site. There's lots of strength over here. It's right next to Australia. That's strength 7. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for the large cache of intel. 55%. I think it's better, especially since it's bugged. Nice, Glenn. And it's currently providing 40 intel rather than... Or is that just an extensive cache? I'm in. There's like three different things. There's two extensives and there's one large. It's kind of really weird. All right, now then. Let's bring Ease Gatora down. And let's go double pro... And we're going to actually command the Glen. Boom. And I'm going to remember to hack a tower. Yep, that's right. And also... Well, I'll get to this in just a second. But for now, we don't need squad sight. But what we do need is a superior PCS. 37% Glen. Not even close. That's fine. It's a fine. The amazing thing here... Is that they didn't even see us. Why am I hacking? What the heck? I want to... No. Evac all. Evac they literally never even saw us. Also... Quadraflawless. That was amazing. Ooh, double promotions even. Isgatora is absolutely 100% going to go tradecraft because it's amazing. Also, Glenn, probably revival because why have I ever not taken revival? Hair trigger, I guess we got that from the chest. Oddly enough, we do get 40 intel. That's crazy. And yeah. And now then, I was waiting for people. I was waiting for Paul... And a couple other people. Let's finish this POI, though, because I'm annoyed by it. One acid grenade, which is fantastic, and a shredder round. The acid grenade we can give to Book of Eons, and when we encounter a sectopod, we'll just tootle all of its armor immediately. So Wade's Wizen Wazox is at 100% here. 
Only six hours. I think we might have an, a real mission queued up next. What's going on over here? 30%, 21%, but I did want to queue up one more. I think it was this one. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out I think we were just waiting for Johnny Maple resources. on that. So let's do it this way. Instead of scanning and then clicking and then having the thing pause and scanning, I'm just going to do a slow-mo a five. Like a full five. And then I'm going to have the slow-mo command ready for when I see in the bottom left that Johnny Maple is healed. Actually, technically I should get out of this region. Let's do slow-mo one for a second. Let's get over to um, Eastern U.S. We need to be there anyway. Okay, how many hours do I have left over here? Five days or ten hours? Do I even need a Johnny Mabel for this is the question. And the answer is no, I can't fit him anyway, so I shouldn't really have been waiting for him. I'm gonna go in with Izgatora with Tradecraft, and I took Izgatora's advanced suppressor and gave it to Matt, because he has the largest infiltration penalty being a technical on the squad. And Izgatora has the smallest infiltration, so suppressor will help him the least. And then I gave Matt's suppressor to his regular suppressor to Killjoy, because Matt got the advanced one from Izgatora, and boom! I'm down to 5 days, 12 hours on 5 days and 10 hours. That's pretty close, but there's still a couple things I wanted to build here before we launch. Uh, number one, a vibroblade, because I love uh, some vibroblades. Also, number two, the mag shorty. In case you're wondering why it's called a mag shorty and it's in the coil tech, it's because it was in the mag tech for the longest time. And then, um, localization was locked, and then it got moved to coil. And yeah. Game development is a process, as they say. So with Sheld's getting the mag shorty and, uh, Paul getting the Vibroblade. Boom. I think we're- actually, no, I need to build another gremlin because we ran out of gremlins. I actually have five people doing gremlin things right now, which is kind of insane. Or is Macron over here? Because I, I took Macron over his- wait, TD is not busy. You know what? Let's just yoink TD's gremlin for a little while because I don't want to spend the 40 supplies to build a new one. We'll kick him out and we'll give it to a Killjoy. Yeah, having five gremlins seems insane, but I keep using four on a frequent basis. So everyone's secondaries are updated here. I think, let's check Matt's, yep, Gauntlet Mark II, and let's check Izgator's sword. That looks like number two, uh, yep. This is gonna be a little bit tricky, because it is very light, and we have five people and we might not hit 100%, but I feel confident this team can murder it. We might even try to sneak it, and by sneak it I mean have Izgator find a safe place. Shelbs can both barrels with a mag shorty and Paul can chain shot, and the thing might literally just die just like that. Uh, but we'll see when the time comes. For now, they're off. Okay, every mission- oh wait, the supply drops in one day. I guess I should check the market Avenger before the supply or whatever people refresh. Market is open. We do have more Viper corpses. You know what? Now that I have the acid grenade and the poison round, I don't feel like I need to even bother with that. You know what? Mag rifles though, I don't need these anymore because I have all coil rifles, so that's actually the perfect time to sell them. Fantastic. I don't know why they're very interested in tracer rounds. They literally will pay what I paid for them, so that's kind of stupid. $140 drummed up right at the end of the month. That's very, very, very nice. What can we buy, though? Ooh, Stork D Sharpshooter can't not buy a recruit when I have the opportunity. A BAM! Sergeant Sharpshooter. I think Clara Leroy is not a submitted character, so we'll pass on that. However, 42 alloys, 51 Illyrium. 60 supplies. I feel- you know, you gotta exit out of this and come back for the supplies to update after a purchase. You only have 146, and I need to buy a bunch of advanced weapons? So I'm kind of thinking like I shouldn't buy these alloys and Illyrium crystals. I really want to buy the Illyrium because the coil weapons are 5 Illyrium each. We can only build 10 now. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll let it all go, and boom! There we go. 103%. Infiltrated moderate troop column ambush. This is 21 enemies and we're bringing I think six or was it seven? I can't remember now uh, But we don't have a shinobi So this is this is gonna be a little weird because normally what I do is use shinobis to hack But I don't have one and I don't have book of eons ghost grenade either So I don't know how I'm gonna handle this, but we'll see in the next episode for now Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon 
Now then, let's check the command range. Yep, he's in it. So let's shut this down. Uh, let's pop Oscar Mike. Boom. That extends, what's his name? Ian's range. Not quite all the way, but all the way enough. Up he goes. He's going to activate all kinds of stuff, but what do we care? Oh my god, they're not even like here. How far can this guy get now? He can get just short of the evac, but you know what? If we just do nothing but click Oscar Mike, a boom. A Lian Pang, welcome to the team. You're in. I definitely know what we're doing. I'm gonna Oscar Mike right now, boom. And I'm going to actually command TD right now, boom. I guess in three actions with ridiculous mobility. This is how we get things done. From here would mean he could get spotted. The throw from here means he could get spotted. Ooh, wait, I know what I could do. Oscar Mike, again, good lord, Oscar Mike. I can't believe how awesome Oscar Mike is being. 